The following is a selected video from yourteacher.com where you can browse over 450 complete math lessons with example videos, interactive practice problems, self-tests, and more. Try a complete lesson today at yourteacher.com. In this section, we'll be given two separate inequalities and we'll be asked to combine the inequalities based on the meaning of the word that is located between them. So let's start this problem by graphing our two inequalities just above the number line because we're not sure yet how we're going to combine them. For x is less than negative 3, we have an open dot just above negative 3 and an arrow going to the left. For x is greater than 2, we have an open dot just above 2 and an arrow going to the right. Remember, how we combine these inequalities will be based on the meaning of the word that is located between them, which in this case is OR. OR represents an idea in algebra called union. Union means that we'll combine things in such a way that our answer will include everything that's mentioned in the two inequalities. So all we have to do is bring our two graphs down to the number line. So we have x is less than negative 3 and x is greater than 2. In set notation our answer reads the set of all x's such that x is less than negative 3 or x is greater than 2. And that's our answer. I realize this problem seems simple because the answer is basically the same as the question. But things get more complicated and the ideas here are very important. Or represents union which means everything that's mentioned in the two inequalities.